establish that peace, that silence for which India has always stood for. The silence can be of many kind. One could be physical. Have you noticed in the airfield, in the civil airline aerodrome when you take a flight, you'll see the ground crew, the pilots, the race car driver, they wear an ear defender. That is to establish a certain silence within so that they can concentrate. It is also to protect their eardrum from the high pitched noise. Then there is silence from your physical gesture. You need to be still. And then there is silence from inner chatter, the mind which is continuously going on. When you establish these three, starting with the practice, you will find automatically a sense of peace will dawn unto you. And it is there already. It is not coming from somewhere outside. It was there within you. All it does, it re-emerges, it resurfaces. Otherwise, it got clobbered by something like the waves of the ocean. They're continuously lashing onto the shore and going back and coming back. This is what is happening with yours and my mind which is always cluttered with thinking and thoughts. And we are very disturbed. We are troubled. And we are concentrating on, we are meditating on the negative aspects of life. That doesn't bring peace. When you are going ahead and being in India, being an Indian, establish those values. And those values are emerging from our ancient root Vedanta the supreme knowledge and the knowledge is lying within us so this is why the Western science is now talking about reflection you should reflect upon it you should think of it think of it hold on to one thought find the answer when you establish this silence and the peace you will find something happens. Whatever questions and the worries and the thoughts that you had and you were not finding the answer, you find something nice, slowly emerges the answer and you know that it is the truth and that is the answer. And if you look at the history of men and women of science, whether it is the physical science or the spiritual science, you will find it has all emerged from silence. Whether it is Isaac Newton discovering the forces of gravity, Archimedes the buoyancy, or Wright brothers discovering how to fly, or you talk about the great masters of every religion, how did they discover? They all discovered from sitting quiet. So you and I have got this beautiful task of molding the minds of the children. But it can only happen when you and I have established that peace and quiet. And if you look carefully, when you feel sick, sick is what? Disease. Disease is when you are not at ease, you are diseased. Have you noticed what happens to you? You become silent. You curl up in the bed and just lie down. And you just don't want to talk. So automatically you become silent. And silence is the process of healing. It is the bringer of peace. Look when you get very angry. We talk loudly. We fire some cause of the reasons what you think is the cause of our disturbance we talk to them we bring them down and after that loud talking either we go inside a room and slam the door or go to the toilet and close the door and sit in the toilet and just sit quiet or lie down in the bed and close the door in other words once again you've gone to silence 
you look when you get hurt physically hurt you hold on to that hurt and you're silently lying down have you noticed the animals what do they do they lick their wound and quietly lying down so this is the power of the silence around us establish that silence the words silence through your words words were not created by god to create disturbance in the people's mind we use the word as a weapon or sound as weapon have you noticed supposing you don't like someone you look at that person up and down with your eyes you already created a disturbance and that person will say what happened you say nothing but what are you doing you're creating disturbance your a simple sound like mm, the person will say what say nothing but what are you doing you're creating utilizing that beautiful power which god has given you and me is the words are meant to create silence in the people and the children and your partner's heart when you listen to some people speaking well you feel good you feel nice and you become silent and what do you do when you listen to nice music what do you do have you noticed you close your eyes isn't it utilize this power of silence i want to leave one thought with you is a small message i got i'm sharing with you if somebody had to sell air this air that we breathe somebody had to sell and put a price on to it what would be the price of air just think of it have you realized wherever you turn your head air is present isn't it and we go ahead and pollute this atmosphere and the air with all our wrong doing we are similarly creating disturbances in the people's mind with our words with our actions with our thoughts so remove them because each one of them not only let you not realize what you are worth your worth is hidden below that lashing wave underneath the ocean it is calm and quiet and that's who you are you're truly calm and quiet but we let all these little little things for which you're running here and running there is creating the disturbance think the waves of the ocean and the ocean itself have the same property isn't it you take a little bit of water from the ocean in a little bottle it is got the same property as deep down in the ocean which is calm and quiet in terms of physical property but it doesn't have the depth of the ocean so when you become calm and quiet you enhance the depth within you which enhances your wisdom and knowledge you automatically speak wise so establish the teacher it is yours and my as a human being yours and my duty to take ourselves show it to our children this is how not like that like this you have a nice day keep smiling did your open day go off well okay very nice keep doing well